Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to your very last on-screen video in this series. I hope you guys are excited that you've made it this far, but no sense in wasting any time. We're going to create an example of an interface, so stay tuned. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So to create an interface, we want to right click on our project and click add new file and select empty interface. Now what to name it, by convention, start with an I and then describe the behavior you're trying to define. So for example, throughout this series, we've been working with methods to write information to the console. If we wanted to basically define that behavior and what would have to be created in order for that to work properly, you can put all those methods inside of an interface. We'll just call it iTalk. So basically, if something implements iTalk, then we should know it has certain methods. So we'll click new, and there you go. Inside of here, we put the method signatures, so for example, inside of our student class, we have this hello to console method. If we wanted to force everyone that implements iTalk to have this method, all we would have to do is put the method signature. We don't have to worry about public and we're not doing an override. So we would just say void hello to console. So it would look like this. And then we end it with a semicolon. Notice there's no bodies. We're not telling how it's done. We're just saying that it needs to exist. Now inside of our class, if we were, for example, to get rid of this method, so let's just say we're starting fresh, we have a basic student class, and we implement iTalk, it's gonna look like this, comma, iTalk. When you do this, you're gonna notice an error under student. Student does not implement inherited abstract member, user hello console. So we are breaking that contract. We say that we can talk, but then we don't define that behavior in our class. So the compiler is super ticked and it's not gonna let us compile. So you can show potential fixes or you can just uncomment this code since we already have it written out. And there we go, we have fulfilled our promise with the interface. You can also put properties inside of interfaces. So if you wanted to do that, you could do something like this. Int test get set. Back in student, you'll notice we're getting another issue student does not implement interface member dot test. So what we can do is we can generate that, implement interface, and it creates that property for us. And right now it's just throwing exceptions when we try to get or set it. So we would need to go put some logic right here. For now, we can just keep it simple, put a semicolon just to do auto implemented properties. Now classes that implement an interface you can trust them to act a certain way or to have a certain behavior. So that can be checked if we try to assign a certain object to an interface type. If it works, then it implements that interface. So to see this in action, because that was really confusing, go into our code. And what I want to do is I want to say, I talk. And notice that this works like a type, but it's actually an interface. So we're not actually able to create an instance of I talk we have to create an instance of something that implements iTalk. So we can call it you, and then we can say new student. And look, it works. New student implements iTalk, so this is a valid statement. Now when working with you, we'll get all of the methods we should expect to get working with anything that implements iTalk. So you'll see in here the test property, which we should probably have capitalized, and we will also see the hello to console. So I'm going to change that capitalization. We'll change this to AT. Show potential fixes, rename test to test. That should update our code and go back to our program. And now when we put that dot, you'll see test is an uppercase. Now this is still a student type. So if you need to get those student properties, then what you would do is you would cast this to a student. And put this all in parentheses and then put a dot. And you can see we get all of those methods. So now we're being more specific with the type. We can get all of the things inside of that student type. This is important to understand when you're working with C-sharp code, you'll often see something on the left like I enumerable or I comparable or whatever it might be, whatever interface you're working with. And as long as you're creating an instance of a class that implements that, it should work. 
So thank you guys, hopefully that helps you understand the basics of interfaces, and check out the next video, which is the last video in the series. Thank you guys so, 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 so much <laughs> for watching this series, I'm so thankful. If you could do me a favor, just hit that sub button and check out the next video for the conclusion. See you then!